Look at all these card readers. Good morning, everyone. We thought we would do something different today. It is Wednesday, it's our first day off, and we have some errands to run, and we have some things to do. So we thought we would just film our actual everyday life. I've had my friend Lindsay ask me this, we've had other people ask me this, they want to know what everyday life is like. So we're gonna show you. We'll just do things. We're gonna take the bikes, so we'll show you, show you the bikes. We're just gonna hang out today. Well, we're starting with this here. Coffee. Condensed milk flavor. It is my favorite. It's been sitting there for a minute because I've been fighting with memory cards. And then I'm doing my assessments for my classes last night, and Jimmy is researching some things next to me here. So there you go. We'll take you along and see if this is really boring for you or if it's actually interesting. We'll see. Jimmy is here. I know you guys didn't see him this morning. <laughs> He's here, so we are headed down, headed to the mall. We're going to go see a movie. But first lunch, I'm hungry. Starving. Starving. What's funny about this is look at the side. It says 512. Which, if some of you don't know, is the area code for the phone numbers in Austin. He's so excited about it. I love I love the scooters. I mean I, I totally get why everyone likes to get on a bike and ride. I want a Vespa. I know it's the same as like a Harley or whatever, but it's a six. So pretty cool. I want a Vespa in the US. Oh my deal. With a glitter hat. Glitter helmet. Well, that sucks. Jimmy's talking to our Airbnb host. We came out and it looks like somebody knocked his bike over. Like the mirror's all busted. It's in this little pocket now. And then like part of the plastic here was bumped out and then there's a screw missing. And so it's really weird. Like somebody, we haven't been on them in like a week since Thursday last week because we've been working and teaching. And we come out and somebody's jacked it up. Fixing scooters here are pretty cheap. Yeah, you got a new tire for $5. Yeah. So that wasn't bad. So here's um, his. Here's my trusty steed. I love it. We love riding scooters. This is awesome. It's really fun. Mine's over here. I mean, have you ever seen anything less sexy in your whole life? <laughs> we made it! So our bikes are over here. Like, this is where you park your bike. <laughs> they just move them all over. So we're trying to figure out lunch. There's lots of options here. This is the same kind of mall that we went to all the time in Chiang Mai, which is a central mall. It's a um, whole chain of them. So they, in Bangkok, they're in Chiang Mai, they're in Phuket, yeah, so they're everywhere. They all have grocery stores and movie theaters. It wouldn't be a mall because you have a K KFC here or at McDonald's. So there's that. They also have a like local food down, like when you walk in down below. Um, ice cream and all that kind of stuff. So something kind of funny about KFC here, they all have this like separate area that they have like egg tarts and dessert drinks and all that, which is kind of funny because they don't have any of that. And KFC is also kind of not fancy, but like they give it to you on a real plate if you get it to eat there instead of takeaway. So people, it's like restaurant, like Cheddar's. traditional way go talk to the people but they have like computer screens make it really nice um, so it would be in Thai naturally it's Thai. Like, like that. But so you English. can change it to English. English but guess what we're gonna get to see before all of you Jurassic World ah. for some reason is released here like a week early before the US so yeah it's weird why not do that because we can just brag about it <laughs> so, yeah. so here's what you do so go pick the one you want so they have it in English here and they have it in Thai over here so we're gonna do 3D, because why not? 1520, so that's 320. The cool thing about this too is um, Grab. Uh, Grab is the ride sharing app here, or the ride hailing app, like, like Uber. And they have points, you can actually redeem points for this. And I didn't for like do free that. free tickets. We'll, we'll do it later, but. So here's your seat options. You can do deluxe. So 175 for these, 190 bucks, like a premium seats that you can buy in the, in the States. And also a love seat, 550. But so. that's like $10 though, so it's still $5. It, no, it's not. How much, oh, five? 550 
300 baht, 550 is like $15. $15, but you get a whole sofa. Like, check this out. $70. And, and it has little people to tell you what seats are taken. Those. Next. Next. I'm gonna do a credit debit card. And then it has the little machines and all this down here. And down here, tickets. Bam. There tickets in your receipt. Cool. Yes. Now here they have first class cinema. There's actually free food in there, but it's like thirty dollars a ticket. So we're not, yeah, you know, we're not that loaded. So we're not gonna do that. So I love the refreshments because they have flavored popcorn. We'll show that when we come back for you guys. We found a dim sum, Hong Kong dim sum restaurant. Um, and we were gonna eat here anyway. Then we saw my favorite food is here, is Dan Dan Mian, which is like Szechuan fried noodles. Uh, like spicy Szechuan, like peppercorn sauce. They have our green beans, we have, we have these spicy green beans that are here. Also, Bowser, which is like, I'm saying, I said it wrong, I know. Uh, steamed pork buns, There's so many good things here. So, it's time. about to go we're down. Have, we're gonna have breakfast, and we're gonna have street food tonight, so we're figuring we have a nice meal today. Yeah, it's gonna be good, good. We just ordered all the things. Yes. Uh, ordered it. Well, three dishes. We ordered uh, sweet and sour chicken, which we've not seen in a really while uh, since we've been here. So it's always curious to see what, how it's going to pop out. And also ordered um, green beans we like, spicy green beans we love. Oh, so good. And then also I ordered um, some noodles. Behind me, they have like a whole sauce station where they do custom made sauces. So you can go get, it's like 50 baht. Which is like two dollars. We'll convert it. But we didn't order anything that really requires a sauce like that, so we're not going to go do that. But it's here. So I'm not sure what this is. Well, it's broth. It's cabbage. What is this? I don't know what that is. It's not a good taste. I'll try it. The idea is it has minced pork on top, spice and peppers. You see all the red stuff in there. That's pepper. Yeah. I don't see any peppercorns in there. This isn't Szechuan though, babe, it's dim sum. So, How is it? It's good. Um, I'm not sure what's on the noodles itself. Soy, but I'm not sure what else is on there. But that mince pork is spicy. These are my favorite. Green beans, super spicy with pork and deliciousness. Yes, yes. They saute ham in a pan with pork and a spicy sauce. Just incredible. Yeah, spot on. They're spicy. Got a little pepper right there. They're spicy, but they're not too bad. They're grilled perfectly. But I, when I was editing the, the video for Pedling Street when we were in KL, I wanted some more veggies, so this is making me happy. The last dish, the sweet sour chicken came. It was really good. It's a little hot. It is so good. It's sweet and savory. Like back in the States? Is it like American Chinese food? It's better. Really? Yeah. It, ha it, it has that like nod to American Chinese, but I feel like it's higher quality. And they give you big chunks of vinegar. That was so good. Like this is all that's left. <laughs> it's the pineapple and the peppers. Don't eat those red peppers. They will hurt your feelings. We were laughing because we find that like, we talked about it a little bit in our kale videos, but like, our spice level and our tolerance for it is completely different than it used to be. So we order things that we usually order when we eat this kind of food, and usually we have to have like four glasses of water this time. One glass of water, one glass of tea, and we're set. So we're gonna walk around, show you guys the mall a little bit from here, get a really cool dessert that you guys may never have seen before, and then movie time. That there's another one. So if you go across the way, there's a big like H and W store, which is kind of like IKEA. Fun fact: 
Toys R Us in Asia is not going out of business like it is in the U.S. It's alive and well. H&M, I mean H&W, it's kind of like a Ikea meets Home Depot, wouldn't you say? Bed Bath & Beyond Plus. Yeah. Bed Beyond Plus the appliances. So now we didn't find what we wanted, so now we're, now we're going to head back to the main mall. And so also another fact for you guys, there's really another mall which is even bigger on the other side of the mall we're going to now. Yeah. An All the malls. Asia's largest aquarium or something? It's being built. Almost done. 69 baht for 100 grand. It's going to happen. Yeah. Hey, Mom, let's get one. reason he thinks he needs this I'm saying no thank you you have a drone you no, Jimmy are you being serious right now oh my god prices comparatively are not too bad there's still 25 baht for a water for uh, Coke cans, 40, so. 210 baht, cheaper for the US. Headed into the movie. Got our 3D glasses. No surcharge, by the way. For extra 3D glasses. Good movie. Um, it was action packed and good. Um, so, you guys didn't notice what we just posted on there. That was the King's Anthem. Um, they play before every movie. Everybody stands and observes and, and watches that. Really kind of cool. I dig it. You like it? I think it's kind of neat. It's interesting. It's kind of fun to see that. Do they so, do that in the UK, JP? Like the, the Queen's Anthem? Yeah. That's a fair question. I don't know, but this is kind of cool. They're really, they're really respectful of the king here, and it's, it's a big deal. So. All right, now we're headed to Power Buy. Power Buy is like Best Buy, I guess. Uh, they have hard drives. So as you all know, as soon as we got to Vietnam, our hard drive died. Hard drive. Can't talk. Our hard drive died, and so that's where all of our footage is for Dubai and Abu Dhabi. All of that. So we need a new one. We thought about getting a two gig because we need more space. But we thought for sake of comparison for you guys, if anybody that's traveling and wants to know a good hard drive, we're gonna buy two that are two different brands, each one gig. So both made in Thailand. Both made in Thailand actually, and they're cheaper. So we can actually buy one for fifty dollars each for a terabyte and you can't get it that cheap in the U.S. So, we're gonna buy two, do a comparison, see which is better, and let you know. Look at all these card readers. One card. 
thing that we've seen all well, all Asia really, not just here in Thailand, but the whole section of like like cell phone repair shops. So all these guys sell like cell phone accessories, selfie camera or selfie sticks, um, the fixture screen for really cheap, like fifty bucks US uh, here in these kiosks. They all can beat your business too. So kind of nice. Um, so if you ever need a cell phone cover, go to the mall. I mean, you're never gonna run out of choices. Now they have Dunkin' Donuts here, but Mr. Donut, way better. In case you went in our favorite donut store in Asia, that's this Mr. Donut. And these ones with the little bubbles on them, they are so good. Also another interesting thing, okay, check this out. Pretzels, is a 35 baht. I'll translate it, convert it right here but cheap, much cheaper than in the States. So down here is kind of where the magic happens. So this is where the food places are, down here, behind me. And then what you don't see is there's little stalls of like mango sticky rice, there's bubble tea, there's chocolate, there's all this deliciousness down here, and the grocery store. So this is where all the good food are, plus the bakeries with the bread. If you're ever in Thailand, you have to do that. Basically, on the bottom level is where all the good food is.